Doing this law of attraction technique before you fall asleep will get you insane results. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mary Kate. I'm a mindset coach, manifesting expert, and founder of mkmagicmindset.com. So in this video, I'm going to share with you why your bedtime routine is so important when manifesting and using the law of attraction, and I will show you exactly what to do before you fall asleep that will get you insane manifesting results. I promise you, this is life-changing information, so stay tuned. So I find that a lot of people get really skeptical about the law of attraction or they start off really passionate about it and they're really into it and then when they're not seeing results, they kind of just fall back into negative thinking, negative programming, and just kind of not practicing consciously creating your life. So, I mean, I'm even guilty of that too. Back, you know, 10 plus years when I started the, started studying the law of attraction, um, there were times where I felt like I was following all the right steps and doing all the right things. And no matter what I tried, sometimes I felt like I just couldn't manifest certain things. So I would just instantly kind of fall back into a negative pattern. I wouldn't really really do any more manifesting techniques and I just kind of got complacent and lost a little bit of that conscious control over creating my own reality. So I mean I'm guilty of it too and I'm sure that you've experienced this at one point or another where you just get kind of frustrated with the law of attraction and you just kind of stop practicing it. So the thing about the law of attraction is that it's a law. So as much as you want to be skeptical about it, as much as people might make fun of it, as much as people don't want to believe in it, it is a universal law. There are 12 different universal laws and the law of attraction is one of them. The thing about laws is that you have to understand how they work in order to correctly implement them. So many people fall into the trap of thinking they're following all the right steps when manifesting and using the law of attraction. They're following the textbooks, they're following what they read, all the law of attraction books about taking inspired action and putting messages out there to the universe and, you know, thinking they're doing all of the right things on paper that seems like that's what they're supposed to be doing. But in reality, there is a huge key missing factor in that manifesting process, which is what's preventing things from manifesting into their lives. Um, I, I've been guilty of this as well. When I first started studying the law of attraction, I was following all the right steps. I'm a very type A person, so if you give me rules, I'm going to follow them very specifically and do everything the right way. So I was making lists of things I wanted to manifest. I was getting super crystal clear. I was asking the universe for signs. I was following all the steps. But like I said before, certain things that I wanted to manifest weren't happening until I learned this huge trick that really truly changed my life. So I'm so excited to share it with you. The real reason why people struggle to manifest certain things into their life is based on subconscious programming. I'm sure you've heard this before. Um, to some people that might sound really simple, you just convince your subconscious mind that something's true and ta-da, it is. But your subconscious mind is one of those things that has to be constantly trained with mindset work and it takes some time to really, really change your belief system. Your subconscious mind accepts things as true and in turn, it shows up into your reality. And the longer a belief that you've held about something, the more your subconscious accepts that as true and the more you'll see it in your reality. So if you've believed you've been broke long enough, your subconscious mind has accepted that as true and it's gonna take some really deep programming to reset your subconscious mind to accept a new truth that you are abundant and rich and wealthy and financially free. Subconscious programming is key in order to manifest things into your reality quickly and easily. Your conscious mind is thinking thousands and thousands of thoughts all day long. And these thoughts start programming beliefs that your subconscious mind accepts as true. So if you really truly wanna create a big change in your life, you have to create a new thought system and new belief system that your subconscious mind will accept as true. There are a ton of ways to access and program your subconscious mind. I go into a ton of detail in that in my Abundance Academy digital course, so I will keep this brief for the sake of time in this video. But one of the most powerful times that you can access and program your subconscious mind is right before you fall asleep because your conscious mind starts slowly unwinding and turning off your thoughts for the day and your subconscious mind stays awake all night while you're sleeping. So if you can tap into that right before you fall asleep, you can create such massive, massive shifts 
in your reality. So here is exactly what you need to do in the last five minutes before you fall asleep. Before I get into this technique, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. I love being able to share these videos with you. And if you find these videos helpful and useful, hitting that thumbs up and subscribing will help more people be able to access these videos. Have you ever noticed that when you lay down in bed and are ready to go to sleep, your thoughts from the day are still processing, you still have things on your mind, but as you slowly begin to drift off to sleep, your mind just slowly starts to clear. When you get to that point, you start seeing things as images and visualizing things. So here's what I want you to do. First, pick one thing that you are trying to manifest. If you start choosing too many different things at once, it can get confusing and chaotic. And for best results, it's better to pick one thing at a time. So once you pick the one thing that you're trying to manifest, you're gonna do this every single night for one week before you fall asleep. Just one week and then the following week you can pick a new thing you're trying to manifest. You don't want to overkill it and keep you know, visualizing something and trying to make anything happen. Give it one week and then surrender and trust that it's yours. So each night before you go to bed, as your thoughts slowly begin to turn off for the day, I want you to simply visualize the outcome of the thing that you pick that you want to manifest. How does it feel? What does it look like? Allow as many images and sensations to come into your mind as possible. You are trying to convince your subconscious mind that this is your reality. So the more real that you can make it as you begin to fall asleep, the easier it can manifest into your reality. Your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not real. So the more real that you can make it, the better results you'll get. So as you're drifting off to sleep, you don't need to force anything. You don't need to try really hard. This should really be simple, easy, and relaxing. You're just visualizing the outcome of exactly what you're trying to manifest. So say you're trying to manifest a brand new house. Just imagine yourself laying in your bed in your new house, the sensations in the room, if it's warm, if it's cold, how big your house is, what you see when you're looking down the hallway. Just allow as many images as possible to come to you as you drift off to sleep. That's all you need to do. But I'm telling you, doing this technique one week for each thing you're trying to manifest in the five minutes before you fall asleep will create such massive shifts that you will be shocked. It's all a part of subconscious programming. And subconscious programming is what makes things happen in your reality. What your subconscious mind accepts as true is what's dictated in your reality. So if you trick your subconscious mind into thinking that you live in your dream house, that's what's gonna happen in your reality because your subconscious mind does not know the difference between what's real and what's fake, like I said. So many people are asking for things and wishing for things and praying for things and hoping for things and putting things out there they wanna manifest, but then they end up blocking it. And what I mean by that is say that you're trying to manifest $10,000. Say you really need this money for you know, a car, you need this money for a vacation, you need this money to pay bills, whatever you need this money for gets in the way of you actually manifesting it. Because if you want something and you come from a place of needing it and really, really hoping for it and really, really praying for it and trying to make it happen, you are blocking it. If you're trying to manifest that $10,000 and you just keep checking your bank account and getting discouraged, that's sending a message to the universe that it's not already yours. You need to fully just accept and believe that it's coming to you and let go of how it's gonna happen. You need to just detach from the outcome. Convince your subconscious mind that it's true and it will show up in your reality. I've said this in so many different videos, but it's such a firm belief of mine. Where your mind goes, the universe shows. If you agree with me, leave me a comment below where your mind goes the universe shows because it's true whatever you can convince your subconscious mind of is true is going to show up in your reality where your mind goes the universe shows so be careful of where your mind is going and if you really truly want to accelerate and boost your manifesting results do a morning meditation every single morning i know i know some people aren't really into meditating some people feel like they never have time but if you could wake up 10, 15, 20 minutes early, set your alarm. You don't even need to get out of bed. All you have to do is turn on a meditation and let go and just let it happen. The more you can tap into your subconscious mind, the better and faster results you'll get. 
I have a ton of meditations that you can choose from um, depending on what kind of results you want. I even have a morning miracle meditation, a gratitude meditation. I have so many to choose from on my channel. Pick which one resonates with you the most and do this technique five minutes before bed. Do your visualization of the outcome. See your reality exactly how you want it as you fall asleep and then in the morning, do a meditation and tap back into your subconscious mind and just continue to condition it until it accepts what you want as true. It's as simple as that. So try out these techniques. I promise you it will change your life. You won't even believe how quickly you get results when using this technique before you fall asleep. And don't forget, if you want that extra boost, do the morning meditations. And like I said, I have a ton to choose from. I'll leave a couple links down below for you to click on. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you found this video helpful or useful in any way, be sure to share it with your friends and family because they might find value in it as well. And please leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. Um, share your results, share your thoughts, share your experiences. I love hearing from you. And be sure to check out my Instagram. It's at mkmagicmindset. And for tons of law of attraction, tips, tricks, resources, my digital courses, my coaching, and everything else, you can visit mkmagicmindset.com. I will see you in the next one.